Good morning, Sam. Blood collection complete. Thank you for your generosity. Hey. Instead of going to the paleontologist, maybe this is a good time for me to do the pizza delivery too, huh? Since we're kind of on a detour right now anyway. It's gonna be annoying because we're gonna be there without any equipment, but... So, where do you want to go? Uh... Close your eyes. Picture it in your mind's eye. It's kind of creepy how she was staring at me with that grin. <laughs> with the tears streaking down her face too. Fragile Express, handled with love. I'm gonna decide what equipment to make after we accept the pizza order. How about that? I don't think we need that many things anyway. Maybe a um, speed skeleton or all-terrain skeleton. And then hopefully we're not gonna run into any trouble with people or BTs. And that should be that. I do want to bring an antimatter bomb with me though. You know, just in case if Peter Engler doesn't show up again, which I'm fully expecting he won't at this point. So I'm mentally prepared. <laughs> Sorry about the mess. I got caught in the rain. Oops. Watch it, Dad. I tried waiting it out, but when I checked the time, I'm sorry. I should have come sooner. Wait, it's regular rain, not time fall. Somebody mentioned that I forgot last time that, um, Deadman mentioned Clifford serving in Afghanistan. Oh, hey guys! So it seemed like he was alive during the early 2000s at least. And that must be pre Death Stranding then, because just now he was saying he was in the rain, but it wasn't Timefall rain. His coat was wet. I don't know if we know for sure if he's still alive today, though. Because there are still plenty of people alive today who were also alive before the Death Stranding. Okay. No champagne, please. Please, okay? Uh, you're not telling me what I have to carry? So I guess I'll make a all-terrain skeleton. And then probably a speed skeleton too. Would that alone be enough? Kinda scary. Maybe have a blood bag while I'm here. I don't have to make this, right? It's just my blood. I'll bring three. Just in case if we run into any trouble. Climbing anchors and stuff. Yeah... Duh, wait. It says I own some already. I'm not making these then, right? Am I still making those ones? No, I think I am. They're probably in my locker or something. Okay, I won't make them then. Oh, maybe one extra pair of boots? This should be good. This is pretty bare bones, but it should be good enough. Unless if I also want to make a floating carrier. But I'll make a decision after we see what I'm carrying today. O 
Okay. Just one pizza, five kilograms. That's great and all, but I don't have enough cargo that I'm carrying to make this horizontal. <laughs> That's... not good. Okay, offload it then. The blood bags. Boots. Speed skeleton. Oh, frick, I made a level one speed skeleton. Sh uh, should still be okay. Good enough for now. We're just gonna use it for a little bit. I'm actually gonna use the all-terrain one first, though. Okay. Okay, this might be a problem. Hmm. Because I'm thinking... Yeah, I can make a floating carrier right now. But once we use the zipline, am I still gonna have to put that pizza vertically on my back? Because that wouldn't be good. Yeah, like that. That's not good. I actually need more cargo to make it so that I can carry the pizza on my back horizontally. <laughs> okay, I finally got the pizza horizontal. I made a floating carrier, which took up some space there. So hopefully this is gonna be okay. Yeah? I think my plan is probably just to take the zipline to the roboticist. And then from there, we'll go down the mountain. Although I do kind of wonder because last time, when we were looking for dead men's clothes, we took a bike there, and that seemed to work out okay too because that part of the mountain was fairly flat. But I've already started on this, so hopefully it'll be okay. At least there's no annoying champagne today, and nothing I gotta carry in my hand all the time. That's all I asked for. Once we get off the mountain... Whoa! <laughs> Once we get off the mountain, we can start using the speed skeleton. Oh! Okay, buddy. This way. That memory chip from before. Hmm. Ooh, I didn't bring a container repair spray. Am I gonna be okay? Hopefully. As long as we get off the mountain quickly enough. I still can't believe last time they made me carry the champagne for 17 full minutes. My hand was cramping up, but we couldn't let it go because that's just how the delivery goes. Does traveling by the zipline count as tipping over the box? Because <laughs> it's kind of slanted right now. It's a bit scary. All right, we made it, we're fine. All we gotta do now is speed past the hot springs area and get out of here. I do wanna use the speed skeleton to go a little bit faster, but at the same time, I am scared about the speed potentially getting me into trouble. Maybe once we're on the asphalt road. Because then that's certified not dangerous. Oh! My own time ball shelter! We can use it to get a spray here. Hey! Somebody else used it! Wonderful! Lovely. Alright, we're all good. Let's keep going. No time for a spa today. Maybe next time. Ooh, the bad thing about the position of the floating carrier is that I can't take it out to use it right now. 
Because if I do, the pizza might be not horizontal anymore. Now we're going down the hill. This should be smooth sailing. We're going to see the weather station, but where am I going to merge back to the road at? How about let's say here? Yeah, we need some kind of like a waypoint. Just to know where we're going, roughly. Sure, whatever. Alrighty. See, this part, if we had a bike, it would be easier. Weather is pretty good today. Wanna try going with a speed skeleton for a little bit? That does make me scared, though. <laughs> uh, we could try it. Scary. This is scary. Pizza still okay? Even though we're using the speed skeleton, it's still a little bit rough because of the snow. But once we get out of here... No, I need you to... Oh! I accidentally erased a marker. Oh, that's okay. We'll be fine. Try to avoid the rocks if we can. Here we go. Now we can do some hardcore running. At the weather station, there was also another generator. It's kind of crazy. I can remember what structures are around my world now. I hope it hasn't deteriorated yet. Oh, and there was also another Timefall Shelter. That's really good. And my footsteps from last time. Good. Mm -hmm. Oh, we could take the truck. There is one right there. I'm still worried, though. No, let's not. Let's not change the plan. We have a plan. All we gotta do is execute it. The generator is right here, and we'll be a little bit careful walking to it. Ooh! Okay, I haven't checked on it at all. Is it still okay? Yes. And then the road is pretty much just straight here, just straight across. Just take me to it. Hey, I remember falling here last time. <laughs> Whoa! Oh god, there was a rock there. This is the place where I tried using the floating carrier for the first time. The ride function? Gotta be careful. Because I'm really, really good at that. Okay, do I want to take this bridge? Maybe, maybe not. I've taken it though. Keep running, my friend. We're not there just yet. I don't see the road just yet, but I do think we're really close. There's a zipline there, but do we need it? Does it even go anywhere? If it's gonna be raining the whole time, then that might affect the delivery a tad. Oh, we see it! We see a tiny section of the road here. What? Oh, you've gotta be joking me. Not now. Oh my gosh. Good to have you back. Didn't make it this far. 
Honestly, it's been a while since we've really properly came across the BTs. So I feel a little bit rusty in this. Hopefully we'll be fine. I'll rely on the blinker. Where? I don't want to do the whole umbilical cord cutting thing now. It's not really the time for it. Oh, we're so close! It's like a hundred meters away! We'll be okay, alright? We'll be okay. No. I could have. But not today. No big actions. Just get to the road. Where? Oh. Ignore. It's already there. The road is there. Don't mess it up now. Last time, we couldn't even take a climbing anchor down. This time we can. Or we can just jump off or whatever. It's right there. Don't do this to me. Oh no, there's still one more! See, this one's white! No, no. Longest 100 meters of my life. Oh my god, it's a baby! No. You see it, right? I think I'd rather go this way. The baby has a really small surface area, which makes it kind of unpredictable. Or maybe I just don't want to mess with the babies. Oh my lord. Easy now. Please. I didn't check the weather forecast before we left today. Turns out that might have been a big mistake. My pizza boss is rotting! But it's here! It's here! It's here! Come on! Go! Go! Thank you so much for your ladder! Oh my gosh! Without this, I would be dead! Have more likes! Come on, come on. Oh, not now! Not now! Sorry! Please! <laughs> I'm rushing a little bit already! Ooh! Ooh! Okay! It's been a while since I've been that scared about BTs. Partially, it's because of the pizza, but also because it's just been a while. In the mountains, I've been zipping around so much that... What does it mean to be careful about BTs? Do I even know how to do that anymore? But we're good now. Oh! I think we can get off here. We're so close. 
Compared to last time with the champagne, this time was relatively smooth sailing. Relatively. Not too bad. I saw another Timefall Shelter before I came here, so I think even my cargo container has no damage, which is really good. It's really more that last time he was like, hey, can you please bring me a pizza? But he never mentioned the champagne, and he also never mentioned that, oh my god, did I just damage it? <laughs> and he also never mentioned that for the champagne, we'd have to carry it with our hands the whole time. Not that it really would have changed how difficult it was, but this guy... <laughs> this guy likes messing with me on purpose. There's another person around here who really likes messing with me on purpose, too. And it makes me wonder a bit. All these footprints are mine from the other times we came to this guy <laughs> for the other pizza deliveries. Good lord. Here, have your pizza. I already know you're not gonna come out. I have no expectations. 0% <laughs> damage this time though. Although I do wonder if I delivered a 90% damage one, would he be mad about it? Maybe he'll stop asking me to do stuff. He's already given me over a thousand likes. Huh, it took longer on this one than the other one. 18 minutes. The other one was about 17 minutes, I think. The path was... Okay, as long as we got onto the road. Yeah. Good. And I kept it flat. Mm hmm Four stars? No? Too much to ask for? Yeah, these sea deliveries don't really give us any sort of stars. It's too hard. Thank you for your continued support. Good work. Why am I not surprised? No orders for me. Nothing. I can't do anything here. I can't even share the memory chip data. Okay, I'll give you one minute. You better mail me within one minute. Weapons restrictions lifted. I feel like a crazy obsessive girlfriend. <laughs> you better text me as soon as you get home. Like right now. Oh. He died. Hmm. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> On behalf of the dead, I give you my undying thanks. My dear Mr. Bridges, you cannot possibly know how perfect your timing proved to be. It was the very moment your pizza arrived, my dear father had all but set out on his final journey to the great beyond. Which is why I was unable to thank you, you understand? But you will surely find comfort in the wonder your delivery wrought. Before he breathed his last, Daddy Dearest took his first bite of pizza, the remainder of which I later consumed out of respect. He proclaimed the divine, the nectar of the gods themselves, and when he finally passed, his smile was sublime. May I say on behalf of us both that whoever prepared it is a wizard of the culinary arts. You have, as ever, my undying thanks. I don't even feel anything towards this anymore. <laughs> We've done four deliveries for this guy and he's given us over a thousand likes from it. <laughs> and yet, we've never seen him once. Wow, there's a lot of crypto bios here. My gosh. Well, it is what it is. Maybe one of these days he's gonna want to show me his face. His dying father. His sister-in-law, brothers-in-law, fiance, who got mad at him, blah blah blah, whatever. Yeah, okay. I'm just... <laughs> I have no words, I'm completely disillusioned. Nothing to say. 
Okay, well, I think I can probably get back on the road and then, um... Before we leave here, I do wonder about the sticky guns retrieval thing that we had a long time ago. I think the starting point for it was at the distribution center right here. So if we can do that while we're here anyway, that would be nice. Sticky guns, I'm not sure how often I'll use it, but it'll be one more toy to play with. Wow, this was such a quick ru- Oops! <gasps> I broke someone's PSP! Oh no! <laughs> that was probably for the collector. Sorry, man. But whoa, that was a really quick ride. Oh, it felt so good on the road. Was it here? This is completely based off my memory, so it might not be here. It is. Retrieval, sticky guns. Sam, got a critical request. A shipment of experimental weapons has just been stolen by mules. They were scheduled to be delivered to Lake Knot City, but got picked off en route. The mules loaded them into their own vehicle and fled before help could arrive. Now, while we don't know their exact location based on eyewitness accounts, we've managed to narrow it to a small area. Track them down, secure the weapons, and deliver them to Lake Knot. Yeah, okay, I got it. I'll do it. Of course, we don't have any weapons with us right now. We do have some blood bags and stuff, and I think we have a lot of stuff in the private locker here, but probably a bowl again would be good. And... Assault rifles? Non-lethal, of course. Yeah? Non-lethal assault rifle level 3? Yes. Would that alone be okay? This camp... It's been a while. This is the one with the ravines and stuff, right? I don't like this place. <laughs> I really don't. I'll make one more bola gun, just in case. But we should be fine. And... I might want a truck later on to bring it back to Lake Knot. So I'll just keep it like this. The sticky gun is a weapon that launches an adhesive projectile. Gun and projectile are connected by a wire which can be engaged to pull in targets. It's strong, too. Could support up to several dozen kilos. You can use it to secure cargo at a distance. Right out from under a mule's nose, maybe. You're a clever guy, so... I'm sure you can think up a few other applications. Just comes down to how creative you can get. Reminds me of the gun from Prey. What was that gun called again? The one that shot up the foamy white stuff? Um, glue gun. Glue gun, that's right. I thought we were retrieving this, though. You have it already? Fires adhesive rounds connected to a wire that sticks to pieces of cargo, allowing them to be reeled in. Right, so the hope is, if I have this gun, I don't have to walk directly up to the cargo to retrieve it. Is, I think, the primary use for it. But maybe we can think of other uses later on. But why do we have this already? Because I thought we were retrieving this? Oh, maybe they only have one, but they want me to get more back. Order assigned. Okay. Can I at least do some bot deliveries while I'm here? Elder? Hmm. Who haven't I had five stars with? Chiral Artist? 99% though. I guess we can try it. The Elder? I'm not even sure if we have five stars with Lake Knot City. I guess I'll go for something like... This? Okay. I just gotta make sure once again, am I ready for a fight? I have... 
A bola gun? I have a sticky gun. Can I use a sticky gun to hurt the people? Mm, not in a way that I can think of right now. I got an assault rifle. This is... This is lethal, isn't it? I think it is. Yeah, I have a non-lethal one right here. Whoa, where did I get this? From my private locker back in Mountain Knot City. I should be careful to remember not to use that then, because that's gonna kill people. Let me just put it back in. Oh yeah, I got a bunch of this here. Guess I'll take the blood bags. And... Take that back. We should be ready. Okay. Am I carrying anything on me that counts as cargo? I guess it doesn't really matter because we're going in with the intention of hurting everybody anyway. Oh, but at the very minimum, I should equip a blood bag. Yes. Somebody built a zip line here. I wonder if that goes anywhere. Yeah, I feel like um, in this half of the region, zip lines are not as common. Actually, there are quite a few over here. Here. Just because in the mountains, that's where it's really, really completely necessary. But here, maybe because I have a road built, it doesn't really feel like it's that big of a deal. Yes. Um, do I need anything sprayed? Yeah. What I really need is a generator, if there is one around here. Well, that's fine. Will be locked until departure. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. Distribution center south of Lake Knot City. Oh, that's exactly right here, right? I was wondering what that was. Okay. Probably we'll start out with not the sticky gun, although we'll try it later on. Let's just try non-lethal assault rifle and regular rounds. Hey, so if I run out of regular rounds, can I just keep using hematic rounds for as long as I have blood? Technically, infinite amount of ammo as long as we have enough blood bags. Is that how that would work? That would be pretty amazing. Don't see anybody here just yet, but I know it as soon as we walk closer. I want to get to the watchtower first, so we can get a handle on how many people are here, who's here. Ooh, that was a leap of faith. Don't try that at home, kids. That was really dangerous. Okay. Oh, it's being carried by people? Two of them are, at the minimum. People are walking around. Yeah, I think so. So four, five, six is there. Where is one, two, three? In the car. I think the easiest way to do this is very simply clear out the whole camp. It's never the intention, but that always ends up being the final goal. <laughs> Which is fine. All we gotta do is go rush in. Probably as soon as we alert the people over here, those people are gonna automatically drive to me. Have they noticed me? I feel like they should very soon. Yeah, I feel like I'm pretty good at negating that now. Not a big deal, but in the end, it's not something that's gonna matter. I really want some energy if we can get it somewhere, but I don't see a generator here. Which is fine, because all I'll do is go up to the people and shoot them. We don't need energy for that. Oh, 
Okay. I could try to pretend to be a rock again with a hologram, but there's not really a point if I'm gonna be doing this, right? Oh, probably I could have tried doing stealth for a little bit just now, but too late. I started shooting. These people, the technology levels, have they gotten guns? There's a guy that we just shot down was holding a spear, not a gun. Oh, have people not noticed me yet? The one guy did, but then he didn't alert anybody else. That's gonna change very soon. I really only need to bring one. Oh, I guess people really haven't noticed me yet. Huh, in that case. What about using a strand? I haven't used this in forever. Don't turn around. Hey, hey, what? What are you doing, man? Hmm. These guys are so much easier compared to the terrorists, though. Just three hits. Whoa, none of that. No, thank you. Another guy right there. Mm, maybe I'll hit them first, because I don't really want to carry all the cargo with me just yet, right? Yada yada yada. Alright. Ooh, I got hit by a spear. If we can get out of here quickly, I'd be okay with that. Because I don't really need to be here anymore, right? There you go. Let's go. Failing. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we already got the memory chip here last time, so we don't even have that to worry about. Let's go. Oh, yes, walk in zigzags, so they don't get me. Oh, not now! Of all the times! That guy has a gun. Okay, this is entirely in self-defense right now, because I'm trying to run, but you're not letting me get away. Hold up. Oh. Okay. Well, if you don't want to cross the bridge, I'm not gonna make you. I think we can walk directly back to South Knot, but if we go back to the distribution center first, then there's a few more deliveries that we can take to Lake Knot at the same time. To the home, it's like, why did this random guy just invade our camp and knock a few people out and get out of here? It's kind of weird. <laughs> oh, Sam. Oh, really tired you out there, didn't I? Sorry about that, man. Fuck. Did I bring a floating carrier with me? If I did, now would be a good time to use it. Yes, one, two, three, four, five, six. 
And the one that they gave me, I can try using that just by walking around too. Why do I have so many skeletons on me? I don't even know why. <laughs> Let's get a move on. Again! Nope, but I'm too far away. Ooh. Mm, no, no. We have a bridge here. Let's make use of it. Thank you for the bridge. I really don't see a generator around here, but I'm sure as soon as we get back on the road, then that's not going to be a problem anymore. People are pretty good about putting generators next to the asphalt. Okay. <sighs> Sorry, Sam. We're almost there, all right? Just hang tight. Now, if we had cargo around here, I would really love to try using the sticky gun just on something random. But the closest bit of stuff is still a little bit away, so I'll hold off on that for now. And we'll check here. Oh! I can just use the bike, right? I don't even have to walk back. Yeah. Lake Knot? Lake Knot. Yes. Pre-stranding texts on American history, which I've done before. But if we haven't done five stars with them yet, I don't see why we wouldn't do it again. Put it on the carrier. We can probably put it on the bike. Does it fit on the bike? I'm actually not sure. Oh. Hold on, just to be sure, because I'm pretty sure I thought we had at least one more order at Lake Knot, but I didn't scroll down all the way just now. Yeah, we do. Antique games. This one we got an A on. We can change that. Yeah, this is fine. Yeah, long range is the one where the cargo capacity is lowered. So instead of that, maybe I'll just use somebody's truck. This is a truck I thieved off somebody, right? Yeah. How about we make use of it now? And we'll just load everything onto the vehicle. There you go. The floating carrier, too. Now, I kind of wonder, the sticky guns, does it only work if I'm walking around, or does it also work when I'm on a truck? That's something I'm not so sure about. Mm -hmm. This one. So, obviously, I can just aim it normally like that. Oh, this is what that guy was... N oh, abandoned vehicle has been dismantled. <gasps> was it the bike that was here? I think I kind of ruined it. But earlier, there was a mule aiming a blue light at me. That must be what the sticky gun was. Yeah. Okay, so while I'm driving here, I'm trying to take out my gun and stuff, but I don't think it's a thing. All I can do is drive. But maybe if I get off here okay. and say I want those medals that are right there. In that case, do I just shoot at it? Ah. And it's right here. Okay, cool. We still have to walk out of the car and everything, but I'm sure we'll find some use for it later on. It's been a long time since we've been back here. 63k people. 
And the cars, the trucks, they wouldn't lend me, even though they had so many. Gosh. All right. Hey, did you see that? That was my sign. There was about 170 likes on it. The BB one. That's cool. If you put a sign in the middle of the road here, it's really easy because even just walking through the sign gives a person a like. You don't even have to do it consciously. Got a whole bunch of stuff for you. And yeah, that's what I thought. We weren't at level 5 yet. But maybe this will change once I do this delivery. I just about given up on this. I owe you one. Stand by me. The song? Thank you for your contribution. The moment of truth. Can we get another five stars? With three deliveries? The sticky gun one was for me specifically, not a standard order. So I'm hoping that something like that would give us more likes. Good work, Sam. The weapons you've recovered are something the techs have been calling sticky guns. Anyway, none of this is on you. We should have kept a closer eye on them in the first place. Let's check the cargo. Great. Most of them are accounted for. Thanks to you, we've kept the damage to a minimum. Wow, we've received a total of almost 3,000 likes from this person. That's crazy. Yeah, sticky guns. Now I can make it myself. Waiting. Okay, four stars. More chiral bandwidth, always good. Blue. Mmm, 4.1. What about these orders? I've done both of them before though, so they might not give me that many... Yeah. 4.2? Well, that's a shame. Well, we still made it to four stars with this person. You've been awarded the title of Master Courier. To many, your abilities as a porter are practically legendary. Cargo condition grade 50. Now we can keep our balance more easily. Thank you.